a computer has two types of memory, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is temporary, which we will talk about later. The secondary memory is permanent, and this deals with the hard disk drive. The hard disk drive is a sealed case that contains magnetic disks, and these disks are where the actual data is stored. These disks rotate at high speeds, and as they do, the actuator arm will either write data to the disks or read data from the disks, depending upon what the user wants to do. These magnetic disks can rotate at speeds of either 5400, 7200, or 10,000 RPM. The typical hard drive that is used today in desktop operates at 7200 RPM. Cheaper desktop hard drives would typically operate at the 5400 RPM range, which is also the speed of a typical laptop hard drive. The higher-end hard drives would operate at the 10,000 RPM range, but these higher-end hard drives are not commonly used anymore because of the advanced speeds of solid-state drives. Additionally, hard drives are considered non-volatile because they can retain and store data when not connected to a power source. Hard drives today use the serial ATA interface. Now this is a newer standard that is faster than the old parallel ATA interface. Instead of data traveling in a parallel path, the data travels in a serial path. This means that data travels one bit at a time. SATA drives have transfer speeds averaging 6 gigabits per second, which is considerably faster than the old parallel ATA. Other advantages of SATA drives are that they are hot swappable and the cables are a lot smaller, which makes cable management a lot easier. Another type of storage device is acylate state drive. Now these drives have no moving parts. This type of drive uses flash memory chips to store data, and since it has no moving parts, the data transfer is very fast. There are also drives out there that combine the use of magnetic disks and flash memory, and these are called hybrid drives. Hybrid drives take advantage of the large capacity and the low cost of magnetic disks with the speed of an SSD in a hybrid drive. The magnetic disks will be used to store data, while the flash memory will be used for the catching of the data. Hybrid drives are primarily used where cost is an issue because SSD drives are considerably more expensive than magnetic disk drives. Removable storage is both convenient and portable because these types of storage are not stored internally in a computer, they are attached from the outside, for instance, a tape drive. A tape drive is an inexpensive way to back up data from your hard drive. It attaches to a computer, usually with a USB cable, and the data is backed up sequentially to tape, which basically means that if you ever have to restore the data, have to restore the data in the same order as you backed it up. CD-ROM drives have become a standard component in computers today. It is a device that reads data from a CD-ROM, which is a disk that stores permanent data, CD-ROM stands for Compact Disk Read-Only Memory, meaning that the data can only be read to and cannot be changed or written to. CDRW stands for Compact Disk Rewritable. A CDRW drive can change or write data to a CD. It has a moving laser assembly that writes or burns the data to a CD. There are two different kinds of CDs that can be written to. A CDR which stands for CD Recordable and a CDRW which stands for a CD Rewritable. Now CDRs can only be written once too, but a CDRW allows data to be rewritten multiple times. And CD-ROMs hold approximately 700 megabytes of data. A DVD-ROM drive is a device that reads DVD discs. 
The DVD drive has largely replaced ordinary CD-ROM drives because of the larger storage capacity of DVD discs. A DVD can store approximately 4.7 gigabytes of data, and all DVD drives today can read both DVDs and CD-ROMs. Like a CD-RW drive, there is also a DVD-RW drive. And this can change or write data onto a DVD. It can write data onto DVD-R discs and rewrite data onto DVD-RW discs. As previously stated, a DVD disc can hold approximately 4.7 gigs of data. And some DVD burners have the capability of burning dual-layer DVDs. These are called dual-layer DVD-RW drives. Dual-layer DVDs have two recordable layers, but they can store nearly twice the amount of data as a regular DVD. Dual-layer DVDs can hold approximately 8.5 gigs of data. Blu-ray is an optical drive that was released in 2006. Blu-ray replaced the DVD format because of its high capacity. Blu-ray uses a shorter wavelength laser compared to DVD, which allows a Blu-ray disc to store far more data than a DVD. A standard Blu-ray disc can hold 25 gigabytes of data, which is five times more than a DVD dot, just like CD recordable and DVD recordable drives. Blu-ray also has a recordable drive, and this is called BDR or Blu-ray disc recordable drive. And this is where you can burn data to a Blu-ray disc one time. Or, you can also erase data and overwrite the data on a Blu-ray disc using a BDRE or Blu-ray recordable erasable drive. So, as stated earlier, standard single-sided Blu-ray discs hold 25 gigabytes of data. And there are also Blu-ray double-layer discs which hold 50 gigabits of data. Another type of removable storage is what is called a solid-state disk. Now these have no moving parts. This type of memory uses memory chips to store data, and these include thumb drives. A thumb drive is a miniature storage device with a USB interface. These devices can store anywhere from 500 megabytes up to 256 gigabytes, and their size is small enough to fit on a keychain. These are a fast and convenient way to store data on the go. Secure digital or SD cards are a well-known type of flash memory. These are primarily used in digital cameras for storing photographs and videos. These photographs and videos can then be easily transferred to a computer with an SD card reader interface. SD cards come in various capacities, anywhere from 2 gigabytes up to 512 gigabytes. Other types of SD cards include the mini SD and the micro SD, and you can see the comparison of the different sizes here. While the standard SD card is used for storage in a lot of digital cameras, the micro SD card is what's commonly used in smartphones for adding extra storage. Another type of flash drive that is commonly used in a lot of DSLR cameras is compact flash. Compact flash cards provide quick and easy storage for pictures and videos in DSLR cameras, and they can be easily transferred to a computer by using a card reader. A type of non-standard SD card will be the older XD picture card, where XD stands for Extreme Digital. This was a type that was proprietary to Olympus and Fujifilm cameras. The kind of memory that is found inside smartphones and tablets is called eMMC. eMMC stands for Embedded Multimedia Controller. eMMC consists of putting flash memory and a flash memory controller into one package. This is the tablet's or smartphone's internal or embedded memory, and not the external storage like an SD card.
a hot spare is defined as equipment that can be swapped out without turning off power. For instance, if you had a server with multiple hot swappable hard drives, and if a hard drive were to fail, you wouldn't need to shut down the server, would just remove the hard drive and replace is with a new one while the power is still on. A cold spare is similar to a hot spare, but with a cold spare you must first turn off the power to replace the piece of equipment. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.